morning of the 1st of December 1948, a man was found dead on Somerton Beach in South Australia. This man has been dubbed the Somerton Man or the Unknown Man due to him never being identified. This is a case that has fascinated me for a long time, as you will soon see, as it is shrouded in mysterious events and intriguing theories. This is Nightmare Factory, and today we're going to investigate the mystery of the Somerton Man. Now the mystery starts off with the unknown man first being discovered at half past six in the morning on Somerton Beach, with his head resting on the sea wall and his feet crossed. There was no visible signs of identity on the man, nothing given a clue as to who he was or how he died. It wasn't until police later discovered a secret pocket in the waistband of the unknown man's trousers that things really started taking a turn for the strange. Inside this secret pocket, they found a small piece of paper with the words Tamam Shud printed on it. This is what gives the case another famous name, the Tamam Shud case. Now this phrase appears at the end of the book, the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, an old book of Persian poems. When translated, it means the end or finished. Straight away, police were confused as to why this piece of paper was so well hidden and the significance of the words. Now, sometime after this discovery, a man came forward with a copy of the book that this phrase was from, claiming it had been thrown into his car through an open window. When police examined the book, they found that the piece of paper found in the unknown man's pocket was indeed from this copy of the book. Now, upon further investigation of the book, on the back cover was five lines of handwritten letters and a phone number. This is the writing that they found. Now, looking at this, it looks like it could be a code of some sort that had never been decoded. They also found a phone number in the back of the book which led us to the home of a nurse nearby. Now, when police interviewed the nurse, she was adamant that she did not know who the man was. However, when shown a plaster cast of his body, it is reported that the nurse looked very faint and sick, giving strong indications that she knew the man. Now after this, there really wasn't much that happened. The trail went totally cold and is still unsolved today. Now the nurse was called Jessica Thompson, who sadly passed away in 2007. Jessica had a daughter called Kate, who stated in an interview that her mother once admitted knowing who the man was, but was unable to give away his identity. Now there are more details surrounding the mystery of the Somerton man's death, however I feel these to be the main ones. Now one of the main theories to explore surrounding this is the fact that the unknown man was a spy. There are a number of things connecting his death to peculiar circumstances, such as the cause of death being due to an unknown poison in the system, as well as the code written on the back of the book. People believed that the Somerton Man was potentially a double agent who met his fate due to breaking silence on something, but again this is just speculation and nobody really knows. The main theory circulating today is that the Somerton Man was potentially romantically involved with the nurse, Jessica Thompson. This is believed as Jessica had a son who was around one at the time of the Somerton Man's death, who shares some genetic rarities with the Somerton Man, including a rare dental condition. Now this theory is further proven with Jessica's reaction to seeing the cast of the man at the time and later stating she knew who he was. It would explain her number written in the back of the book as well. Now unfortunately Robin has now passed away so it's impossible to know for sure. Nobody knew who Robin's father was so it's very possible that the Somerton man could have been his father. Now it still does not answer the mysterious code-like sequence of letters in the back of the book or the mysterious way that the man had died, hence why this is still a cold case today. I personally have no idea what to believe, and whilst this is a brief investigation into what has happened, I hope it has sparked your interest enough to investigate yourself. This has been Nightmare Factory, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.